in this segment, we will discuss building habits of mind using soapstone. In order for students to demonstrate the skills of historical thinking, they must be able to source, contextualize, and corroborate sources. The ability to apply these skills depends on students' ability to analyze and evaluate effectively. The sooner students begin doing this as a routine without being prompted by the teacher, the more transfer we will see. Maryland Social Studies standards require students to evaluate credibility. Using Soapstone routinely helps students internalize a process for doing so. Standards also require students to look at the limitations and value of a source. By making Soapstone an expectation each time students analyze sources, you can build students who will transfer critical skills across all information they come in contact with, including news, social media, and historical sources. You may be wondering how to do this. The answer lies in discussion and reinforcement, asking the probing questions that will lead students to think about who a person is and how they are impacted by their situation. Here are some examples. What is the speaker's job? What is the speaker's social class, gender, age, nationality, ethnic background, etc.? How do these factors alter a speaker's intentions and or message? How close is the origin of the source in time and place to the event? How could time past or location impact the point of view of the speaker? Is this source intended for the public? How can this impact what the speaker did or did not share? What facts in a speaker's background or experience could impact their tone? Over time, you should see students' evaluation of sources progress. Teachers should plan scaffolding to assist students as they require this skill. Please provide students with sub-questions to consider as they look at each element of the acronym. In order to help students understand and practice expanding their responses and in, to formatively assess their progress, you may want to consider specific strategies or technology applications. The next section will detail some possible options. In a graffiti walk, you would post the letters of the acronym around the room. Assign each student a starting letter and specify no repeating answers. Have students rotate around the room, adding to each poster information that would provide more insight into each aspect of the analysis. For example, the speaker poster from the previous example might read, Neville Chamberlain, Prime Minister, Great Britain, leading into World War II, politician. After students have rotated around the room, hold a discussion that elicits student responses as to how each part of the acronym helps us better understand the author's point of view and credibility. You may even extend the activity by having students look at a second source on the same topic and discuss which is more credible and why. An alternative to the graffiti walk is a round robin. Write each letter on a sheet of paper and arrange your students in groups around the classroom. The difference here is that the papers rotate around the room instead of the students. Students will pass the placards from group to group, adding details as they go. Technology tools can be helpful in assessing students' progress using Soapstone. A Google form can help you gather data on student understanding quickly. Once created, you can copy the form each time without having to recreate or revise it. By looking at the Google Sheets that are generated in the responses to the form, you can see quickly which students are understanding the acronym and which students need help. An alternative to the Google Form is a website called GoFormative.com. This online assessment tool allows you to see answers in real time and provide students feedback before they submit. It looks similar to a Google Form. 
However, you can see all the students' responses to each question at the same time. This allows you to get a good glimpse of the class and know when you need to pause and get everyone's attention so that you can redirect and reteach. Alternately, if you see one student is giving you answers that lack detail, you can respond with feedback specifically to that student and they can edit their answer before they submit. Regardless of what strategy you use to provide practice with Soapstone, the most important thing is repetition. If students are to develop a habit of evaluating a source's speaker, occasion, audience, purpose, subject, and tone, they must repeatedly be asked to practice. Teachers must continually redirect students until it becomes habit to move beyond what is listed with the sourcing information on a document and they think more deeply about the factors that impact credibility and point of view.